Alright, what is going on everybody, and today I'm here with another NBA 2K18 Challenge My League Rebuild, and you guys know, you guys love these, it is a worst to first rebuild. If you guys are new to my channel, you don't know what these are, but most of you guys do know what these are, it's pretty much, I don't care for the 76ers, I simulate season number one, and the team with the worst record in the NBA, uh, at the end of season number one, say it's the Hawks, I go to the My League Automation, and I go and I switch my team to the Hawks, and then we have that off season and the next regular season to make them go worse to first. And we do that three times with three different teams. So we try to make three teams go worse to first. If you guys want to see more of these, let's see if this film get over 1,700 likes. Because I know you guys love these. And let's get right into this. And I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. And we'll find out what team we are using first. Alright guys, so we don't care about who won these awards or anything. I don't care what the Sixers did. So we're going to go pick our first team. And the first team we are using for the video is the Sacramento Kings. As they had the worst record in the NBA. With a 29 or 23, excuse me, at 59 record. So we're going to choose the Kings. We're going to exit out of the 76ers. And the rebuild starts now. So stats-wise, Scallop is here was their winning score. Definitely did not expect that. They got healed. Hill, Fox. A lot of double-digit scores, which is cool. I really like Bogdan Bogdanovich. How much is he making here? 9 mil. That's not bad. That could probably work for me. So let's simulate to the end of the playoffs here. And get right into this offseason. Where we're going to obviously rebuild the Kings. So, the Warriors uh, sweep them. Okay. Uh, so, here. Let's go to the draft lottery. And then we'll see what pick we have. And then we can go on from there. So, we are projected, obviously, number one. And we get number two. Okay. Not the end of the world. I really want Marvin Bagley. So, I might trade up just to make sure I definitely get him. Because uh, I don't want the Mavericks stealing him, which I think they will. So, let's go to NBA draft. Let's go to... Uh, trade uh okay hold on i forgot to turn the step in roll off i don't have it on normally for these rebuilds so i'm gonna go turn it off uh there we go and let's go to proposed trade we're gonna go second pick to the mavericks for their first pick they offer me a counter offer they want my 2020 for marvin williams i will give you my 2021 actually no i could probably like that's a good deal but i could probably throw out a weird player like, I could probably give up George Hill. What about Yon Bahibi? And a first. And what about I give you a 2021 first? Two seconds for Marvin Williams. Fine, and I'll, I'll trade Marvin Williams. So I got Bahibi's contract off my hands. We're going to trade Marvin Williams. We're also going to move... Uh, do I want to... I think I'm going to move George Hill. Because we don't really need him because we have Fox. And I want to clear up the cap. So... Let's see what team... Could we... Mavericks. Alright, give me your 2019 top three picks. So we traded him back to the Mavericks along with George Hill. So NBA draft, we have the number one pick. I'm taking Marvin Bagley the third. Alright guys, so we take Marvin Bagley the third. He's an 80 overall. Shout out to Michael Porter. He did have like, spot or he's having like spinal surgery or something like that. He's out for the year in real life, which sucks. Because uh, he, he was going to probably bring Missouri to the tournament for the first time in a while. Or a little bit. So, and make them like really good this year. So it sucks that he is out for the year so we only have one year to rebuild this team so i can't like progress players so i might be trading the Aaron fox to be honest with you so who did i just sign we're gonna trade kufos and garrett temple i do want to go after paul george or kevin durant a free agency uh all right we're doing this trade with the jazz we pick up a first round pick so what trades could i find here so i think i might trade willie Colley stein and like justin jackson because that would clear up seven mil and I already have a bunch of centers. I can get Morris at a first. Beverly at a first. Uh, Beverly. Tareen Prince at a first. Alright, I will take Tareen Prince at a first right now. Because we're saving money and we're going to get another first round pick. What can I get for De'Aaron Fox? This pick. And that Hawks pick. What can I get for those two? Larry Marketed and DeAndre Aiden. Kevin Love. Mike Conley. D'Angelo Russell, okay. Uh, I think we're going to do that. We're going to pick up D'Angelo Russell. You can keep Clarkson. Could I just do these two for Russell? There we go. Okay, so we picked up D'Angelo Russell. He's going to start a point guard for us. Or possibly shooting guard. Uh, he's going to start a shooting guard for us, actually. But he healed. Uh, but if I can't find a point guard, I'm probably going to move him back to point guard. So, Cousins doesn't have an offer. So, I'm going to throw a contract at him. Uh... Nobody offered him a contract. Now, small forwards, Paul George does have an offer. We're going to offer him 27 mil, player option, no trade clause. See if he wants to come to 
Sacramento. Kevin Durant's probably going to go back to the Warriors. Uh, Isaiah Thomas probably going to go back to the Cavs. But if not, let's offer him 27 mil and a player option. So we pick up DeMarcus Cousins. We actually bring DeMarcus Cousins back to uh, Sacramento, uh, funny enough. So we do sign him. We could also probably sign Enos Canner and then trade him, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, okay, we're doing exactly that. So we signed Canner and Cousins. I'm obviously going to trade Canner. I'm probably trying to work out a point guard trade for him or with him that I'm going to figure out now. So what about if I traded uh, Canner? Uh, let's see here. Canner, Prince, and that Hawks first. And trading is broken. So I'll see you guys when I have a trade for whatever, Canner and those guys. Hey right, guys, I'm going to try to trade Enos Canner to reprint my pick next year and that Hawks pick we got for Isaiah Thomas. I'll throw in one more first because I'm not using this team again. I'll throw in my last first here. Damn it, we're not getting Isaiah Thomas. Kevin Walker would be cool, but the salary's just not going to work out. So we might go after Mike Conway, to be honest. With you guys, what's the problem? We would require 1.77 mil, and that's what we can take to read prints off my hands. Who's my starting small forward, actually? Ugh, it's Bogdanovich. Like, I have my starting center, power forward, shooting guard. I need a starting point guard and small forward. Can I give up? Hold on. Uh, take Harry Giles off my hands, and I will give you that Hawks first. And I will give you another first. And I'll give you this first. There we go. So we have Mike Conley. So we have our point guard. Uh, now we need a small forward. So what small forward out there could I get? That's fairly cheap. Tatum would be amazing. But it's going to be very hard to trade for Tatum. Like I would have to give up Tariq Prince. This first. Uh, Papa Giannis. And I still don't think they would do that trade. This first. And these two seconds. Yeah. Okay. So we're not getting Tatum. Roko would be cool, but I don't think we have the salary cap to go after Roko. Yeah, we we need to make uh, find somebody that's cheap. Michael Porter Jr., we're not going to get him unless there's a power for... Rondé Howard Jefferson, is he really... Uh, we could start him. He's probably better than Prince, so let's do this and just take this first for me. There we go. So we have Howard Jefferson, who's not too bad. I will see you guys at the start of the second and final season, or... First and final season for the Kings. And so here's the team. We got Conley, Russell, Jefferson, Bagley, Cousins, Lobisier, Heald, Bogdanovich, and then Poppy Giannis. That is the rotation. Hopefully we can go worse to first and do something relevant this year. We are the fourth team, Cornebia.com. 2K Sports still asleep. It has us at 16. And Mark Spears has us at 4. So I'll see you guys at the end of the first uh, season with the first team. And so Harden won MVP. Porter Jr. won rookie of the year. So not Marvin Bagley. That's okay though. We went 53 and 29. So we went 23 in 59 basically we kind of almost flipped our record not really but you can kind of see where i'm coming from so standing wise we were the fourth seed with that record which is actually surprising we were that low it's okay though uh right alex jefferson's defense we got Conley's defense bagley's defense and kind of cousin's defense uh he's up to a 95 geez uh we are taking on the portland trailblazers in round one we'll see if we can get past them and then stats wise here are the stats for the ob season with the kings if you want to pause and see them so, round one against the Trailblazers. Can we get past them? We won game one. We won game three. We won game four. And we win game five. Take it on the Warriors. Ah, uh, it's probably not going to end well. Yep, we get swept. All right, well, that was a short stint with the Kings. And the team that wins it all is going to be, wow, the Rockets are facing the Pistons. And Harden is your finals MVP. So, it was a good run, Kings. It was a good run. We built a pretty good squad here in Sacramento. But we have to move on to our new team now. Which is going to be the 17 win Phoenix Suns. Oh god. So we're staying here in the Western Conference. Which sucks. Because we have to face the Warriors every time. And the Suns who aren't very good. And have really one bright spot in Devin Booker. Well one huge bright spot. So I'm probably going to be trading the first overall pick. If we get it. Even our top pick. Uh, so we end up getting four. Alright 2K screws us off for a tad bit. But it's not the end of the world. We need a new head coach. So let's sign Trent Peterson. Uh, and Mulling, and we accept it. Okay, so cool. So let's go to the NBA draft. Um, and let's make some trades. Okay, so Ryan Anderson, Jesus, why do you have this guy? Uh, let's move Ryan Anderson immediately. Uh, will team give me a first? There, thank you, Boston. Uh, now I'm probably gonna trade TJ Ward as well. 
because I really don't want his $12 million salary. And this guy is making $3 million a year. I'm going to move on from both of these guys. I can get Kyle Lowry. Pick three. Okay. Schroeder. Schroeder might not be a bad option here. Schroeder and pick seven. Let's do it. All right. So we pick up our point guard for probably the, for the Sun. So we have Schroeder and Booker. Uh, I am not. Wait. Does it still say I'm on the Kings? No. So why would I went to roster and went to the Kings? That was weird. All right. So we have these two. Josh Jackson, I'm probably going to trade because he's not going to help us win a championship like right now. Uh, also, I did record my Sun's Realistic Rebuild and the audio got messed up. So I have to redo it. It took me five seasons. I wonder how long it's going to take me to do it again. Uh. What can I get for pick four and pick seven? Pick three, Tyreek Evans, Rudy Gobert. I might do that trade, honestly. Rudy Gobert and Jeremy Lamb. Let's do it. So we pick up our center. So we have a big three of Schroeder, Booker, and Gobert. Let's trade Jeremy Lamb now. Uh, trading is broken right now. Uh, so I'm going to trade Jeremy Lamb at free agency. Rookie signings. We don't have any draft picks. Team player options. Bring back all these guys, but I'm probably going to be trading half of them. I just want to see how much money. Ooh, they have Okafor. I'll offer him the qualifying offer. And for agency, do we have cap space? We do. Okay, we will have cap space to go after players. I just got to trade Jeremy Lamb. Uh, who am I trading Jeremy Lamb for? Please give me an actual deal and not have trading broken. Thank you. I'll take first out picks. Roddy Hood, I would not be saving money. Uh... First rounder from the Pelicans. Okay, well, I can't do that. Who else offered me a first? The Hawks. Keep Solomon Hill, and you have yourself a deal. So, free agency. I'm going to be offering deals to pretty much everyone big. Well, I'm going to offer Towns a deal because he's been... Like, the Timberwolves in this game has not been, like, matching his deals, which has been very weird. So, we're going to offer him a 30 mil, uh, 30 mil for four-year deal. We're going to offer Kemba 29 and a half mil. Uh, yeah, and then I can trade him or shorter, and then we're going to offer, I guess, Paul Millsap a deal for three years. Okay, so after day one, we get Towns. I'm going to try to sign Towns. Uh, I have to read out some rights on a couple people. Uh, I might have to read out some on Okafor, to be honest. Yeah, we're going to have to read out some on Okafor. Well, that sucks. So I'm going to try Towns. If we get Towns, we get Towns. Nope. Okay, well, I don't know why. Ah, and all my other rebuilds, it's been uh, allowing me to get town. So, we're going to offer Devin Booker a deal. And we're going to offer, who's the other guy? Millsap. Millsap might be the better option because we have shorter. And, well, that's not going to happen because Millsap signs with the Nuggets. So, was that day three? There we go. Okay, then we should sign or we can match whatever Booker has. Actually, let me just throw a max deal at Booker. Uh, so, he should sign that, and he does. So, I'll see you guys when I have a trade for probably a power forward is what we need the most on the squad. Uh, yeah, we do have assets to trade. We do need power forward and small forward and we're set. But And we do have trade pieces in Kemba and Shorter. So I'll see you guys when I have an idea of what I want to do with trading. All right, guys. We're going to be trading, not for live marketing, but I do like that trade. We're going to be trading Chris Schroeder and Bender for Bruce Brown and Kevin Love. So welcome to the Phoenix Suns, Kevin Love. Him and Gobert, I feel like, are going to work together. And now we just need a small forward that's better than, I think, Josh Jackson. So what can I get for Jackson in my first round pick next year? I'm not trading Kevin Love. I can get Darren Fox. No, thank you. What small forward slash power forward is there that's not making more than, like, six mil? Because that's where, like, our budget is. Marketed, Collins, or Doncic. See, Doncic would be a really cool pickup. So Jackson, and I will give you my first in 2021. All right, I'll give you my first next year. Okay, so we pick up Doncic, who's a lot better scorer than Jackson. Yep, not a defender, but Jackson just, I don't know. I, I wasn't trusting him. So we have a team of Kemba, Booker, Doncic, Love, Gobert. This team is stacked. I'm also going to see, hold on, if I can sign somebody with my mid-level exception real quick. Like a nice Jermichael Green. And we pick him up. Okay, cool. So I'll see you guys at the start of the season with the Suns. All right, guys, so let's see what the team is going to look like for the season with the Suns. The bench looks pretty solid. Okay, I can roll with this. So, Brown's going to get 10 minutes. Green can get 14. U.S. 19. Williams, 26. Williams is going to be a really nice defender off the bench. We're going to give 32 to these guys. Uh, let's make Walker get 34. Let's give 34 to also these guys. And we'll go 35 to Booker. We'll go 30. 
35 to Walker, and we'll go 35 to... I guess go bear. So that's going to be it for me now. I will see you guys at the end of the season with the Suns. They're kind of sleeping on us at 11. 2K Sports has us at 12. And then Mark Spears has us at 11. What are the Suns at? Uh, Kings at a bet. They're high. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys at the end of the season with the Suns. And hopefully we can get past round two like we couldn't with the Kings. Guys, so Schroeder won six men after we traded him to the Cavs. And I didn't even know we traded him to the Cavs. Who the hell? Did, oh, we traded him for Kevin Love. That's why. Okay. And he was backing up, obviously, Isaiah Thomas. So we went 55 and 23. Two games better than we did last year with the Kings. And the Kings are right behind us. They actually did better this year. They got Tim Hardaway Jr., interesting, to be their sixth man. They, I think, I guess, traded Buddy Heald. Nope. They got George Hill back. Okay. When we go 55 and 27, we are taking on the Spurs, of course, in round one. I'd rather face the Mavericks or the Clippers, but no, we're taking on the Spurs. Uh, stats wise, here is the stats if you want to pause and see what they were. And let's get into this playoff run. So, hopefully, we can win more than one playoff series. If not, at least win one. And we sweep this first. Okay. Take it on the Kings. Well, how funny and ironic is this? The team we faced last year. And we win in seven. Let's go. Okay. We win in seven games. And we're taking on the Warriors. We do win game one by one point. Game two, we lose. Game three, we win. Game four. No, we're down 3-2, and we lose in 6. All right. Well, the Warriors have crushed my dreams two years in a row, and they go on to lose to the Cavs. So, oh, let me uh, pick my final team quickly. Uh, so, it, it was a good run, Suns. It was a good run, but we have to do one more team. Hopefully, it's an Eastern Conference team, so I don't have to face the Warriors. What am I doing here? Standings. Worst team in the NBA. Please have a team worse than the Jazz. Oh, my God. We're in the Western Conference again. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess it's just this. This is just the Western Conference Wars, the first rebuild. All right, so this is going to get interesting. Uh, please give us the number one pick. And we get number two. Not bad. Once again, ooh, can I get Greg Popovich? He has no desire to coach here. Uh, give me Scott Brooks, maybe? Or give me Dirk Nowitzki. He's got good ratings. Wow, we have no money for a head coach. I don't think we're going to get any of these guys. Oh my God, really? Uh, give me this guy. Newman, come on, Otis Newman, please, there we go, we signed him, okay, so NBA draft, I'm probably going to trade my pick because I don't really think there's a start here that's going to help me win year one, we have a lot of bad contracts, well, a couple, I'm probably going to move on from Kaminsky, Dinwiddie, Bledsoe's an interesting choice, but he's making 28 mil a year, when I can go after Schroeder, who's making 15, actually, Schroeder might be a free agent, so two first round picks uh, from the... Pacers for Fred Kaminsky is a good deal. Now, let's trade Richardson and... Uh, I don't want to trade Rubio, so I'm going to try not to, but we're going to see if we're going to have to. First round pick and from the Celtics. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll just take first round picks because I can definitely unload those for a better player. Just acquire assets. I'm probably going to trade Holmes and Dinwiddie. Honestly, uh, Middleton's making too much money. Two first round picks from the Blazers. Uh, I'm trying to find a trade that I like. Pick nine. Zubach, Kyle Anderson, and Beverly. What's, like, the best player that's making no more than five mil? Like, who is it? Marcus, okay. Who's the best player under contract that's making less than that? Jesus. There's nobody. Best player is Willie Reed. Okay, we're going to trade... Richwan Holmes for Willie Reed. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, screw that. Uh, we're just going to go back to doing this. What can I get for the second pick and those two guys? Brogdon and Bledsoe. Russ, I'm not going to make a trade with former teams. First overall pick, Oladipo and Turner is not a bad trade. Ooh, because we don't have Gobert because I just fleeced the Jazz to get Gobert. Drummond's a 90. Oh, we might pick up Drummond. DeRozan and Lowry? Okay. I might do that trade. Honestly, yeah. I'm going to do DeRozan and Lowry. We're going to roll with DeRozan. And then I'm going to trade Kyle Lowry right now. Because we have Rubio. Uh, that, yeah. I don't need Kyle Lowry at the slightest. Uh, is trading going to be broken? No, okay. Saric, he's making 11 mil. That's not bad. Like, if I can get a starter. Here, can we go to the Pistons here? And then try to give up. My, ooh, Vucevic and Millsap. Let's go to the Pistons. Let's go Lowry to the Pistons for Drummond. And I will give you my first in 2023. And I will give you my first. Or I'll give you one of these first that I got. I'll give you two of the first that I got. 
I will give you... I do not want to give you... Oh, we don't even have our pick next year? Great. All right, well, we got Andre Drummond. So, we don't care about the NBA draft. So, we have a big three. It's not even a big three of Rubio. It's just a big two of Drummond and and uh, DeRozan. So, I'm going to be trading Batum. I forgot we have Donovan Mitchell. So, we're going to be trading Batum. I'm hoping we get, we're going to have somebody for free agency, but I don't think we're going to. I could honestly get Eric Bledsoe. Could I get... I need a small forward and power forward. And I don't really want TJ Warren. Tobias Harris. All right, I'm going to look at who's in free agency before we just figure this out. Uh, I should offer Justin Anderson to qualify, but it's not the end of the world. So we have no money to spend at all, even when I trade uh, Nicholas Batum. So we're not going to be doing uh, or going after a big name free agent, which sucks, but what are you going to do? Actually, wait. No, we do have enough. If we traded Batum, but there's no free agent that I can know that I'm definitely going to get here. Yeah, there's nobody that I would. So let's trade Batum and like, oh my god, this team is going to be bad. This is definitely hard to do. We need a small forward slash power forward. Capella, welcome to the team. Alright, I'm going to move Capella to a power forward. Uh, I'm not the Suns, so we are this team. Capello goes up to an 88, so we have a 90, okay. Like, I like Donovan Mitchell, but he's 6'3". We could put DeRozan at small forward. Does he go down at overall? No, he doesn't. So, he's an 88 still. So, we have our starting five. We just need a bench, and we're good. Now, it's going to be hard to get a bench, but we have no first-round picks and no money to spend in free agency. So, let's go after Alan Williams. I'd probably rather have him than Aaron Baines, to be honest. We have a $9 million... Okay, let's read out tonight on all these guys. Uh, we had Norman Powell. What the hell? Wait, did we actually? Well, I'm dumb. All right. Well, who else here could I sign? Well, first let's sign Alan Williams. And then we have really like seven players we could play. Oh, God. This team is not going to be good. Uh, I'm sorry. We're not going to be good. Uh, can we sign Trevor Booker? No, we cannot. Can we sign John Hudson? No, we cannot. Wow, we are freaking broke. Oh my god, this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. So, we don't sign J.R. Smith. And my game crashes. Nice. Alright, so I guess we're not getting J.R. Smith. Uh, I don't even know if it lets... Okay. Well, we, we, we're, 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 we're in a rough position right now. We are in a rough, rough position uh, next year. I just want to make the playoffs. I don't think... This is like our worst team we've had yet. Uh, and we still have to go through the Warriors. And we still have to go through, like, the Kings and Sons and the Super Squads I built up. This is not going to be well. I will see you guys in the start of next year's season with what the team's going to look like. All right, guys. So, let's see what the team's going to look like. We got Rubio, Mitchell, DeRozan, Capella, Drummond. Uh, and DeRozan has regressed to an 85. This is going to be a rough, rough year. Uh, I don't even know. We don't even have a guard off the bench. This is going to be... Rough. Okay, so Rubio, you're gonna get 31 along with Mitchell. We're gonna give 35. We'll honestly give him 36, 36, and we'll give Mitchell 32. So let's see where they're projecting us to be. Uh okay. Top 10, I'll take it by NBA.com and Mark Spears. Hopefully that comes true. Hopefully we can beat the Warriors, and I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final team. Okay, guys, we're getting a one seed this year, which is very mind-blowing. It's because the Warriors, they still had a great season with 50 wins they're probably gonna get. But they were, what, like the fifth seed, which is very surprising. Giannis MVP, do we get coach of the year? Uh, we do. Otis Newman gets coach of, the, coach of the year. I don't know if we have any jazz to look forward to. Uh, Drummond made all defensive second team. He had a great season for us. Uh, was a beast. So, we are the one seed. The Kings were the sixth seed. The Suns were the two seed, if you were wanted to see where they are. The Warriors are the five seed. Hopefully, the Timberwolves can take care of them, but we'll see. Uh... And then we have, yeah, uh, we're taking oh, uh, we're taking on the Lakers around one. Lonzo is an 89, Jesus. D'Anthony Melton, pretty good player. Brendan Ingram, Paul Millsap, Gorgie Jag, Randall. We should still beat them. Uh, so stats-wise, DeRozan, 19 points. Double-double for Drummond. 14 a game for Mitchell. Capella, almost a double-double. Double-double for Rubio. I love to see that. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful sight right there. And then here's the bench. So, Let's get into these playoffs. Can we please not get upset in round one? 
Uh, there we go. We win it. Oh my god, we blow a 3 0 lead, but we win. And thank you, Minnesota, for taking care of the Warriors. Please, here's our golden opportunity to move on. Thank you. All right, at least I know it's going to be either us or the Kings that are winning it all, or going to the finals, knock on wood. But we, come on, come on. Yes, we win in seven. Let's go. Let's go. And we're taking on the Bucks, who have added Oladipo and Chris Bosch. Ooh, interesting team. Very interesting. Oh, we're, we're screwed, I think. We're screwed. We're up 2 1, 2 2. 3 2 them. 3. Okay, game 7. Here's the video right here, guys. Are we going to walk away with the finals in this video or no? And it looks like we are as we get a nice 30 point victory over the Bucks. And we win it all. Finals MVP is going to go to Ricky Rubio, of all people. You guys know he is my fifth favorite player in the NBA. He averaged a double double, and that is the exact reason. Oh, that's that line looks so nice. With two steals a game, too. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see more of these uh, worst to first rebounds, let's see if this video can get over 1,700 likes, and I will post one uh, very soon. I can also do a historic one, or I can do kind of uh, like modifications to them and kind of make it like an addition episode. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. If this is going out on Thanksgiving, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and a happy Thanksgiving. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.